the locals afternoon, everybody. It's Wendy here for Wendy's Craft Den. Living Narbus, and I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator. Now then, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do another one of the uh, lessons for Jess, or cards for Jess. But um, I, what I'm doing today, I'm going to do some masking to show her. But any of you that haven't done it before, I'm sure you'll find it useful as well. Right, first thing you do, you get a post-it note, okay? And don't forget to check your block. Make sure your block is clean. And you stamp it onto the post-it box block. Onto the post-it note. Oh, I've been getting my tongue in a twist all day today. That is me cleaning my little, um, using my chamois. Where's that gone now? Right, you're going in there. I'm not messing around with you anymore today. Right. So, now then, what we do, we can cut this out. Cut as close to the, um, jar, uh, jar. Put as close to the first as you can. Now, if you're using a proper sticky, a proper post-it note, you um, you will have some sticky up the top. Stick it down so that it's as close to the top, so you've got the sticky on the top that you can you can cut into it. I was trying to find some. Proper post-it notes just now. I mean, we went down to Auntie Julia's and she didn't have any. So this is what I had from her. Now then. With, oh, right. I'm using this stub set, the Vibrant Vases. Now, I'm using this because I gave you one, didn't I, Jess? Like this. And I've ordered now, I've ordered another double a stamp they've already got so that we can do some more with the other stamp as well. It's much easier if you've got the stamp that the, that the person teaching you has got. All right. Now then, where's my bit of card? Oh, oh, you can see this now. Right. Sorry, I should have done this earlier. And what I'm using, I'm using one of the post-it notes. Uh, don't post. I got posted notes, notes on the brain, I think. Um, one of the, you know one of the little cards that I gave you in a pack. See, I'm just eyeing it up now to see where to cut it, and I just just eye pull it really. Sometimes I cut too much off, and sometimes I don't cut enough off. Be careful if you're using a guillotine, everybody. You must concentrate. You must not be doing what I'm doing. Blabbing on. And use this guard as well, because that does stop your fingers getting cut off. I need another little bit of that. Like I said, I tried this. I did a couple of videos and it didn't work. So I already had the, the other one set up, you see. But I didn't have this one done. Right, a little bit more off the side. The side, the side, the side. There. You can cut as much as little off as you like. Right, now that that's done, put that there. And then if you're doing anything... If you're doing anything that's supposed to sit on the table, on the floor, on the shelf, the best thing for you to do is just go along with a little pen, uh, a pencil, sorry. I'm just using a, um, an ordinary pencil here. It's nothing fancy. But you're just grounding it so you can see that it's sitting onto something. Now then, where's the other one gone? What is happening to me today? I don't know. Oh, I had the injection yesterday, maybe that was it. I put it back in the box, didn't I? Oh dear. Right. It is best to have a block round about the same size as your stamp. Right. 
see it's over make sure you've stamped to everything okay and of course check your block now then we want this to uh, put that out the way we want this so it's sitting on that piece of um on that bit of shadow there that i've just made Well, it, now, it doesn't matter one little bit if you can see the shadow through the through the stamp because I'm going to colour over it. But I'm going to close that one before I get ink all over the place. Now then, I suppose I should have used um, blue for the water, but oh, did it run me round again? Yes, see, I can see then where all the stamp, and you can also see where the block is covered in it. Now, after doing three of these, well, I think this is my fourth that I've tried. Then this will be very used stamp. If you have, if you use it for the first time, do my usual. Cut it out, rub your hand across it, or get an eraser and use that. Just to it just takes a little film off the, the stamp after it's been made. Now then what we do next is we line this up. Can you see the lines going around there? They're quite good solid lines. So now then just see what I mean. If I wiggle it either way, up and down, then this is all practice this is. And hope so I've got the right way round. Ah, that's not too bad, is it? Well, no, Wendy, don't say anything because you know what's going to happen. <laughs> you usually mess it up completely. Right, now I'm putting the little post-it note over the top. I'm going to use the um, soft succulent. There, now I, you see there, now I've covered the flower, so I don't want to do that. It's another good way... For doing it this way around because you can see what you've coloured. So just get the top off them. What did I use that? Oh, right, where's my pink gun? Now then. There we are, you can see both. Now, because I've been fiddling about with this, it tends to dry a bit, so just huff on it, go, and it'll get undried then. Now then, I've got that there. I've got two here, look. Yes, I thought it wasn't sitting properly. Right. So we do that there. You line this at the, up at the top of your jar. Oh, it's a vase, a little vase, vase, I never know what to call it. And there we are. You can't see the stems. Now, this is good. If you, whatever you want to be behind, always mask off the front piece. Mask that off, because you can see then... I've stamped, oops, sorry, I've stamped the green onto the post-it note rather than at the top of the verse. So there we are. <laughs> I shall now put it together very quickly. So I wasn't going to, but uh, I like to keep my videos short, otherwise it's, it's quite a, a lot for one person to cope with my... Um, voice and my silliness. Uh, this is not a paper that we've got. So I'm just using now. I'm using up old paper, and um, it's ideal. It's ideal to use uh, up old paper because with paper. You can use any colour you like. I mean, it's, it's entirely up to you. Oh, didn't want to do that yet. I think you got frightened of the ink there. Then I'm going to put that on top. Now, 
to turn it over make sure it's on there and this I made a mistake with last time didn't I hmm. right, do this it's just really to put something pretty on the inside of a card now I do it like this I'm putting a glue all the way up there it's better to do it like this than than to cut it to size because as you, you saw mine the other day I cut mine to size but it was too small a size wasn't it there we are just that when you're cutting it then turn it over so you can see exactly where you're cutting there we go done a pretty outside and a little plain card on the inside so I'll practice Jess and uh, Next time I'll do a little bit more with the other vases, okay? Bye, thank you.